We've not taken this one before. I like this boat. This is the boat to Wilderness Lodge. Because it's a big resort and they expect a lot of people. The Poly and the um, Grand Floridian have a small boat that visits theirs. But ours is a big boat. wood dock, a nice wood path. We're gonna head inside. We've got time before our appointment this evening with the Evil Queen, but we're getting ready. We are here at the Wilderness Lodge. It's a beautiful space. It's lighter wood than the Grand Californian, but very much like the Grand Californian, even to the rocking chairs by the fire. Ha ha ha. If you don't remember us sitting there by the rocking chairs at the fire at the Grand Californian, I'll put that video in right here. So there are people getting pictures at the tree. Look at it, it's like all the redwoods tied together. Everything's so pretty, so pretty. Hi guys, we have just finished dinner and we are headed back out into the weather, back out into the parks. We have her, we have a lightning lane together and then she has one other lightning lane. They told me I hit my max allowable lightning lanes for the day. I didn't think that was possible, but I'm about to learn how and why. We went in that door there. We're going out that door then. But we're gonna walk back to the boat because it was such a peaceful walk getting here and it seemed like a peaceful way to go back. So here we go. There are people still at that pool. Oh my goodness. All right, we're gonna take our pe Look how cool, look how nice this is. Look how nice this walk is. I don't want to talk loud, I'll be disturbing. Get the lifeguards on my door. Oh God, the lifeguards look so cold. And there's probably like one person in the pool. No, there's not. Oh my God, that's awful. Those poor lifeguards. What the hell did they do? <laughs> I mean, I can understand being near there just in case, but yikes. We're going into the wild with the Spanish moss. Mm. All right, we're being silly. Probably should stop. Never, never, never stop. Ah. Flame is a little cold. Thank you, Kenny. Um, we discovered that the boat, the, the first boat we came out with had an indoor section, after section, much more complicated boat. The new one, and I think it's the same boat driver we had before. This is a much smaller boat and a lot more open space, like no coverage. Okay. Safety, please remain seated. Keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside our boat at all times, please. And we'll have you at your port of call in just a few minutes. Thanks for sailing with us. Yeah, they even did the front of their house. They really are just, I want to stay in one of those one day.
is, it has a projection on it, and it is the 50th iridescence. It is not Christmas. So, I know prior to Christmas they were doing all of the different Christmas sweaters and things, and I'm curious as to why they're not now, because last year they did it all the way to New Year's. So, not sure. Anyone knows? Put it in the comments. We're off. Scare some people, or laugh. We're all about the monsters. Look! It's Dumbo and Timothy P... Tim, Timothy P. Mouse? Hi! Timothy, hi! Look at this big music. Oh, this is the Christmas one. I forgot they do an overlap. Aww. They do a Christmas overlay, guys. I may be in trouble. <laughs> yes, I think you are. Hey, who here's a fan of Mike Wazowski? Make some noise! Oh, that's gonna make him so happy. And guess what, everybody? What? That completes our mic check. Yay! Mic check, not so much. So, oh, another thing that's really great. When a monster says, Happy Holidays! The proper response is to throw your arms up in the air and scream like this. Ah! So let's try that. Happy Holidays! Ah! Ah, you guys this is a good got audience. It. Good job. <laughs> well, time to start the show. Okay, Mr. Needleman, you guys ready to start the show? Say, take it away, Roz! Take it away, Roz! I'll see you all later, bye! See that giant canister? That's where we collect your holiday cheer. The more you laugh, the nice. more power we collect. The less you laugh, well, when it comes to lists, you may find yourself on the naughty one. <laughs> oh, and the snake. Hey, folks. Phew. Are you ready for our first act? Yeah! Here they are. Sam and Ella. Yay, Sam and Ella. Happy holidays. Ah! Oh, that was marvelous. Hello and good evening. My name is Ella. This is my little brother, Sam. They just call us Sam and Ella. <laughs> Say what, what, what? Now my brother happens to be an expert in the holiday traditions of the of human the world. You don't know anything about the human world. What are you doing? I do too. In fact, I know every single human holiday tradition. Really? Well, do. why? Why don't we build on that? You know what? Why don't we find a human and talk about their holiday traditions? This could be anybody. Oh, not that guy. He scares oh. me. <laughs> right, well, let's find somebody else not so petrifying. Go ahead and raise your hand up high in the air if you're a human and you remember where you live. Oh, there's a lot of humans that know where they live, and there's a human kind of towards the front with their hand up high in the air. Are you ready for your challenger, my brother? Let's do it. There you are, right there. Excellent. Well, let's find out where this human is from. First of all, let's find out your name. Where's Salmonella? What's your name, dear? Lauren. Lauren. Where are you from? Texas. Woo! Texas. Woo! Texas. Yeah. Woo! Popular. Okay, so in Texas, they celebrate the season by making lots and lots of pudding. Yeah, then they take the pudding skins off the top and make festive bonnets that they wear under their iconic North Pole. Wow, it sounds kind of fancy. So, Lauren, is this right about Texas? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Next! You're supposed to be a I don't think she's from Texas, I really don't. Besides, I was distracted. You were distracted by what? The two-headed human. There's no such a thing. Two-headed human. That's a miracle! They're connected at the armpit just like we are. I know. It's amazing. We could be we could be cousins. Who knows? Well, let's find out their names. Hello. What are both of your names? Andrea and Cairo. Cairo. Cairo and Andrea. Where are you from? Miami. 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 Oh, Miami. Yes. Okay. So let's see. In Miami, they celebrate the season by uh, feasting on fried foods. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone gathers around their dinner table. They get a big plate full of French fries and chicken fingers, and five onion rings, which they eat under their iconic North Pole. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You said the iconic North Pole was in Texas. 
It's a franchise. <laughs> well, that clears that up. Well, is this possibly right? No. Mm-hmm. Wait a minute. When was the last time you celebrated the holidays in Miami? Tomorrow. Tomorrow? Wait, the last time you celebrated was tomorrow when you time traveled? She is time traveling. <laughs> well, look, all right, yeah, I think they're a little confused, but I know how what's going to bring them back on track. What? I know Miami's traditional holiday scare. Oh. Yeah, it's not from the future, it's from the past. And it goes like this. The past. Oh, I know a place if you want to play in the snow. la 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 Especially that guy. Yeah. Oh, but you might remember me as Buddy Boyle Comedian. What you may not know is that I also have psychic powers. I'm telepathetic. <laughs> now, inside this box is the ultimate holiday surprise for one of you human types out there. So raise your hand if you're a human! I'm a human. Yeah. Well, apparently there are ghosts out there too. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> You know, oh, hang on, hang on, oh. There is one particular human that's pulling me, pulling me with her psychic abilities. Yes, it's a human wearing a gray jacket and a gray hat. And I predict a microphone will be in your face right now. And wow, I'm good. Hi, I'm Buddy, what's your name? Tucker. Correct. (laughs) That is one small sample of my powers. So, Tucker, wouldn't it be amazing if your ultimate holiday surprise, that thing you want more than anything else, was already inside this box? That would be amazing, would it not? It would. Correct again! (laughs) Tucker, you might be telepathetic, too. (laughs) Let's use your powers of telekinesis to beam your ultimate holiday surprise into the brains of all these humans. So do me a favor, Tucker. Concentrate on that item. Do you have it in your brain? What is your ultimate holiday surprise? A new truck. (laughs) Is there another Tucker in the audience? A new truck, that would be pretty swell, Tucker. But you were thinking of something else that would fit in this can of fruitcake. What do you you think it is, Tucker? Fruitcake. Yeah, you're right, but oh my... Mm, smells like diesel. I don't know, Tucker, you might be in luck. Let's see, here it is, your ultimate holiday surprise! Uh, you don't look so surprised, Tucker. We just want to get you this! A gift certificate for one new truck, but only in Monstropolis. Thank you, Tucker! <laughs> why do reindeer love Beyonce so much? Do you know why? Because she slays. <laughs> Well, I guess it's a holiday bonus for the one responsible. Oh, yeah? So what am I getting? Not you, Wazowski. Back So that was a really fun show. I didn't obviously show you all of it, but that was awesome. What I'm doing now is a flame has gone over to Space Mountain for her final, or second to final, that last lightning lane. I am going to the standby line, the Space Ranger spin. It says it's a 15 minute wait, so we should be about the same amount of time. And then we're ending the night officially at Haunted Mansion. Let's see if I can get a better score this time, okay? Trouble in Sector 9. No doubt it's the work of that nefarious criminal, a sworn enemy of the Galactic Alliance, the evil Emperor Zerg. Ooh, I like the music. His robotic army is stealing crystallic fusion power cells. Then we have to save the world now, don't we? What an amazing night, guys. Flame and I have had an amazing time. Did you have an amazing time? I had an amazing time. It was fabulous. This last hour of Space Mountain, Buzz Lightyear, I got 865,000, like a lot. Um, um, Haunted Mansion to close out the night, some shopping, some... What other fun things? We did a whole lot with 
but the, the oh and monsters inc holiday monsters left inc. floor holiday. it's a holiday version now yeah for the oh, it's awesome that's what they do during the christmas party but christmas week we don't have to pay that money we just get it for all of them so she did holiday space mountain we did holiday Which monsters is crazy. Inc. it's like um, a holiday drug trip <laughs> yeah oh yeah yeah somebody it's was on something weird. it's like that woozle ride because when i did poo yeah it's it's crazy but it's so fun. We are going to start walking. We are taking the resort monorail back to whichever resort we want to get off at there. Ooh, bright light. Bright light, Maguay. And, uh, and then we're going to call an Uber from that location because A, for your reference, it is cheaper to get an Uber from a hotel than from the TTC park. Um, oh, it's also no less line. traffic. There's what? No line. Yes, I know. And we love this. Because um, most of those people are so close, they probably just went home. They also can walk. At yeah. least a grand flung, yeah. So, um, so this is probably it for the night because once we get there, we're just going to focus on getting home and getting to bed because we have another early day tomorrow. So, if you have enjoyed this video, please remember to like, share, subscribe, all the good stuff, none of the bad stuff they're waiting for us. We're going to go and get this as fast as we can. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. <laughs> I don't have a tagline. Singing hey ho, a maiden's life, one, two, three. Hey ho, a maiden's life, won't you drink with me?